Hi there, I'm Airly from AirlyWildy.com. I'm an online organization coach for women in business, helping them get organized online. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to put a Google form onto your Facebook page so that you can get responses from people. Um, so if you need to get have them fill out surveys or uh, set up a discovery call, um, then this is how you can do it. Uh, so we're going to be using Rubox. Um, and I've already created my Google form. Um, I use Google because I think it's easy and everyone can get it set up fairly easily. I've already done a video about that, um, about setting up a, how to set up a Google form. You can have a look for that. Um, and this is the one that I'm using today. So um, here's my form. As you can see, it's a just a, a, to book a discovery call gives me a little bit of information about the person before I get on the phone with them and it also gives them a link at the bottom. Um, so I am going to go through to Woobox. So this is woobox.com where you can register. It's free. Um, I already have a uh, an Instagram link on there and another link to my Facebook group, hashtag no more burnout, female, female entrepreneurs on fire. Um, so those two tabs are there. Um, so I'm going to create another tab just so that you can see how to do it. Um, create a tab. So um, there are a lot of other things you can do using Woobox. Um, I'm not going to show you too much about that. Um, especially seeing as my computer is running quite slowly. So I think I'm just going to go with what we're doing now. So I'm going to use the HTML Fangate tab um, because when I go to um, my form and share it, I can get the HTML code, um, which is essentially just the coding that puts the form into um, a box this size. So I've copied that. Um, I'll go back to Woobox, still creating my tab. Okay, so here we are. Um, we can customize it now. So, mobile access, um, I want that to be on. Ah, that's an upgrade option, um, which is annoying, but there you go, that's how they do it. So, page source. So, this is where you can enter the HTML um, and Click here and put in the source code. Okay, so we're putting in the code. Here we are and paste. Um, and oh, there we go. We don't need that. Turn off the code and it should be there. Um, Okay, so it did take a little bit of time to load. So I'm back again, the code's in, I've saved the settings. So I've just uh, clicked on the link and on my Facebook page, it's added a new tab. Um, it's, yeah, that obviously the upgrade version of Webox would not have this stuff um, because it's free, it has all that. But here you can see, um, here's my form and you can fill out all those things and click on the link and off you go. Um, and so we just need to edit that because I don't really want to call it the welcome tab. So I'll go back to the tab and edit the settings. So you can change the name, um, book a free call. Um, and change the image. Okay, so just going to select my image. Uh, where is it? Yeah. Okay, so that goes in. Uh, book a free call. Save settings. Okay, so. So there we go, share settings, G 
just um, showing you a few of these other tabs here. Um, if you are sharing it, um, you can look at the stats. Um, and if we look at it, on my, I'm on my page, I'll just click on it again. going so um, it's here so if I go over to my uh, where are we manage tabs book a free call is along the top taking a while to load So I can reorder these. Um, I can put it up here, book a free call. So my opt-in is get eight te tech tips for free. I can book a free call. There's my no, no more burnout Facebook group and Instagram. Um, so they're all there. So if I save that and just click on home. All right, so here's my home page. Um, if I wanted to, I could put that on there, but if I just scroll down, here's my eight tech tips, book a free chat. If I click on here, this should take me straight to that survey. And off we go. And that's how you do it. Just by pasting that iframe code in and giving it a, a an image for people to click um, you can get all that information and of course that will be sent to an Excel spreadsheet where you can grab that information. So there it is on my Facebook page. And that's it. Okay, thanks. Bye.